Hi guys, welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking. Today what I'm going to show you is my banana cream lasagna dessert. So let's get started. You'll need one 11 ounce container of vanilla wafers, one 16 ounce container of Cool Whip, vanilla, one 5.1 ounce of banana cream jello, and you'll make it according to the directions on the back, four bananas, and one 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. So let's get started. So the banana pudding calls for three cups of milk. I'll add the three cups into my bowl and then mix it till it's nice and thick. To the thickened pudding, I'll add in a tablespoon of vanilla extract. I'll eyeball it so it's a tablespoon. To this, I'll add in this 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. I'll fold it in. You want to mix it good. Now I'll fold in the 16 ounces of Cool Whip. So now I'll fold in the Cool Whip. And it's the 16 ounce container of Cool Whip. You want to fold it till it's all blended well. Now that it's all well combined, I'll place some of my wafers on the bottom of my baking dish. This is a 9 by 13 baking dish. So now I have a layer of the vanilla wafers. I'll take my bananas and put some banana slices on top. And then I'll pour some of the mixture on top of the bananas and the wafers and then repeat the process. So I have two bananas that I sliced up and I'll place them on top. And this is what it looks like. It's almost like layering it for lasagna. So now I'll put the mixture on top. Once it's poured on top, you'll spread it evenly. And now I'll repeat the process. I'll put some of the vanilla wafers and then slice up two more bananas. So that's a total of four bananas. I have a layer of the vanilla cookies along with the bananas. So now I'll pour the rest of the mixture on top. Thank you. 
You want to cover all the vanilla wafers and the bananas. And that's what it should look like. So now I'll take the rest of the vanilla crackers and smash them up and place them on top. So now that they're all crushed, I'll place them on top. This is going to be a really good dessert. It's quick and easy too. So now I'll place this in my fridge for about four hours. So into the fridge it goes. Well, thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking. This dessert is really good. I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye.